Hello everyone. My name is Gazali Ahmed Garu, front end web website designer. For today's lesson, we are going to learn the introduction and beginning of website design using an Android phone. We are going to learn how to create a website that will look good and smart on a desktop screen, tabs, iPhones, and normal Android phones. Before we start, let's see some applications that we can use for our Android phones. Here are the applications. We have AN Freewriter, Bootstrap, Bootstrap Coding, HTML, JavaScript, Learning Bootstrap, Learning Code in HTML, Learning PHP, Google, uh, Logo Maker, Programming Languages, W3Schools. Firstly, let's have a look at what AN Freewriter. Here we open the app. Yeah, this is the background of what AN Freewriter. It is one of my best applications I use in creating website on my phone. And a and writer free has what has many features like opening. If I want to open a save file on my phone, I just click here. If I click, I will check for the folder that I save my web page. Yeah. And for example, for now I have like about I can open it. Just press the review button and now as you can see it will open yeah you see you cannot you cannot open your web page that what you have already saved on your on your phone I cannot I can close it I cannot I can open another one again let's see let's open another one let's try to open another one We can open another one again as you can see this one this is one of the features of an free writer you can save i know you can open it you can open your file and then for like if you type your code like doc type html this might be a small letter html you got you close it open tag for your html you close it open for like your body yeah it has opened for us then like print hello world then what close it then you can close for the body you can close for the HTML. then that's what let's preview it yeah you see it what it has review what we are the code we have what we have coded hello world then you can save it as i'm doing you just click this button you give it a name like save dot html you must you must install that dot html you see i've already saved it and then i can what i can open it on my phone i can just do this close it i've already saved it on my phone not in the folder of my website let's see i know i will see it yeah save.html i'll just click on it it has opened that's what you see i would i wrote the code write the program save it and then open it again that's what that's one of the features of what an writer free then for next we are going to look at the booster 4 this is booster 4 as it's opening yeah booster 4 and learning booster up all those app will help you in what will help you in linking the best in linking and creating the best bootstrap for your website it will link the best booster for your website. if you if if you can link a bootstrap in your website then your website will look very good on an android phone on the tab and on your desktop just by one program you just write one program link your bootstrap and not everything will be good that's how it works get started as you can see introduction quick start that's for what css this is for js like this it has many document 
and examples custom you see bootstrap but bootstrap is used in what in this it what it will bring this what album custom component like box box like this this pricing you see check out how do you see it all bootstrap did this with add bootstrap you can't do this you can't draw put it like sign in and let's see something here okay let's check for learning bootstrap and see what it has learning bootstrap let's click on it and see what learning bootstrap has yeah for learning bootstrap let's get started let's see what is at introduction as you can see this is the introduction just as well just as bootstrap for starting template important globe html5 dark our how it takes everything is that's how what it takes everything robot community that's for introduction you can get it on content content of the app yeah how bootstrap box css files js files bootstrap source code and many more that's what that's for bootstrap bootstrap give you a good website good looking website then let's check for javascript what the javascript to force javascript uh, this application for javascript contains a thousand program that will that will help you create something your programs basic programs you have them like in form this is what this is your coding in javascript for form something more easy and more harder for some people you see how it will look this is the output for this code and you can see for another programs for here we have 42 programs each one if you can go check for this output to give you this let's go let's go check you see it will it will give you this many things you see it will give you pink color you see we create these boxes okay cancel enter the period those boxes okay cancel it in your website you use javascript for that and you can use HTML and CSS once again for that. This word for HTML, you see, it has many programs. Each one you entered, it will take like 42 in content. As you can see, for this one, we have 42. For this one, you have 42. 42 times almost more than 10. You have more than 400. Oh, I can see it nearly to thousands. Then, for next, let's check programming languages and learning. PHP this programming languages let's see how it was programming languages contain code of Java Python C C++ HTML CSS JavaScript C hash jQuery bootstrap again okay. you can what if you want to learn for JavaScript this is the code each one you entered it will give you code each one you entered it will, it will give you code each one you see each one contain code this for Python if you want to learn Python you see this one the code and the output this i have will, will all help you learn any programming languages you are interested in this wide loop for python as you can see let's check for the next we have c this what c hello world how it works include studio.h input this one this for c yeah character re for c let's see for c plus plus this is c plus plus hello world for c plus plus hello this is C++ for loop, character array, and many more. Let's check for HTML. Yeah, we have the line break. We have the style. Let's see. Yeah, the style. Putting a background color, giving what each each text a color. I'm a green. I'm a blue. I'm a red. This is a paragraph. Making what making the text bigger. Putting the text in the what in the center. All this is what in HTML text formatting let's see how do you see it this what this app will help you in learning many things many things in what in website designing let's see for css yeah css text you see this is a heading this is a paragraph as you can see in css in css css table let's see how does css table look like this is the code and this is the output the color and everything outline let's see css outlines wow how do you see it an outline dotted outline dash outline solid doubled growth rig insect outlines outside that's how those are codes for css 
and again you have javascript here you can learn the programs here the programs in that javascript app then you know you can learn more wow learning through an android phone is something simple that comes to you anywhere you go without carrying laptops on your back many things this is for c hash wow let's go back to c hash let's see you have use input everything and what in the output you can learn get the code get the output and many more console c hash for loop as you can see it here for the next we have jquery jquery field here we have codes for jquery we have the code for jquery let's see the last but not the least bootstrap again wow bootstrap codes again in programming languages how to how to attach your bootstrap how do you find it this abu word will help you in learning more let's look at learning php and see how it works yeah let's wait before it load yeah this is what basic tutorial for php advanced tutorials php programs interview questions programming room let's look at basic tutorials basic tutorials introduction to tutorials introduction to php inside php how everything this is the introduction to the tutorial this is the intro, uh, introduction to php the features it have and everything this how you can install php map zam php echo how how you use echo in what type in php variables this what this hour from our basic tutorial let's see advanced tutorial php functions as you can see this one contain more and more more thousands of program in php and you what you learn php very easily and simple for next let's see php programs some of digit yeah this is what the program the code and the output factorial program as you can see it here pandemonium numbers as you can see it here let's check for interview questions you ask your questions of php what is php what are the commodities of php and many more if you can answer those questions i think even in an exam you win like a1 more than a1 in the course php if you are if you are writing an exam for your php using this app i know you can learn more let's check for programming room wow programming room has required network connection please check your network okay we'll check for it later or oh, when we are dealing with php we we'll check for it and then for next let's check our w3 schools we have three apps but they almost contain the same thing let's go back and check the other one do wonder what it, it won't take our time it, not, it won't load yeah this is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL, PHP, jQuery, w 3 scooterss color picker, bootstrap. Anyone you choose, learn CSC tutorials here. You just click on it. What is W3 CSC? Everything to give you the code and everything you will learn. W3 school is one of this best, best school in learning program. It will teach you something you understand by yourself without anyone explaining furthermore to you you see that's how we have it you have w3 screws up many offline online you can use anyone you wish anyone that will work for you you see we have html here in our w3 school offline see the tutorials for html5 you can use it you have another one for php you can use it to learn php in w3 school you learn it very easy you have my sql zamp W3, uh, W3SS, Angular, ASAP, Bootstrap, SQL, CSS, and many more. And for the last but not the least, let's look at Logo Maker. I use this app in making logo for my website or for a project. When I have a project and there's a need for a logo, I just use it in creating a logo, finding something more relative to what I'm doing. As you can see, I have text, logo, BG, effect, gallery, and say. I can choose from my logo if I wish, from image if I wish, from any shape here. I'll just check on it. This is for game. This is for alphabet. This is for animals. Let's check. Let me try one for what for alphabet like this. 
let me see how it will look if I try to make it let's see let's take this yeah let's reduce the shape let's take it here well let's put it here let me what add some text well let me attach it to here but let me give it something more beautiful that will make it to look good yeah how do you see it i can use this one as my logo i'll just save it on my phone if i save it on my phone something very good then what i can attach it to it to my website this is my logo here and my gallery and my phone as i save it you see i have it here i have another one many logos that i try to make i have many logos here that i try to watch, to make to see them film squad programming group many logos here just try creating logos to see wow we are finished with that and now we are going straight to the, to the coding html coding don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel we are going to work with html and css we are learning for number one how to print text using html and css number two inserting of a header in html and css number three html and css text styling number four html and css text font number five html and css text size number six html and css text color and number seven changing background in html in html and css let's start the coding now and for now we are starting with printing a text in html and css we are starting with printing like hello world from the beginning you have to type doc type html this code indicate that what you are typing is related to html5 and css and for next we'll be having html we'll close it for the next we have like a for a title we have a title bar which we will name it this is what the opening tag for title we have the closing tag for title here and what in the middle we can say to have a title of my first my first program and for the next we we'll got okay sorry i forgot in inserting a title we have to have your open tag for head and what a closed tag for head and for the next we we'll open our tag for body inside our body between the open and the close tag of body that's where we tap our word we tap our code and for the next we are printing hello world let's see let's put it as this in p Let's put it as hello world. Let's close it. For the next, we are going to close our body. Then close our HTML. Let's run it and see. Yeah, it printed hello world for us. As you can see, it printed hello world for us. Then, if you want to save your file, you just type here as I told you. You just give it a name. But let's just save it in our website folder we'll give it a name like my first program program yeah you save it you have what you have given it a name and save it that's what for our number one number two we are going to print we are going to put a heading in what in html and css and for heading we have six type of heading let's let's get doing it we have six type of heading we have h1 from what one to six let's start it we have h1 open tag and close on for h1 let's print hello world in it let's see how it will look hello world in it and for the second one we have h2 
let's see what's inside welcome to website designing and for the third one we have history the open tag for it three you have to put that less than sign and that greater than sign you put it you then close it go into the middle between it and write website designing um, like creating a web page web page let's take for h4 and see h4 you have the closing tag let's put it in the middle we will be having creating a web page using HTML and CSS. Let's take for H5. Let's write it as Hope you are enjoying enjoying and for h6 let's type it let's have the close tag let's put it as this video this video oh let's put it as don't forget to subscribe and put this video here then let's see how it looks h1 h2 yeah you can see hello world is my h1 it look more bigger and more bolder than what my h2 my h2 is welcome to website designing is what more bigger and more bolder than what my history my history is creating a web page is more what bolder and bigger than what my h4 my h4 is using html and css is what more bolder and what bigger than my h5 hope you are enjoying this video that's my h5 and is what more bigger and bolder than what my h6 don't forget to subscribe that's how you can put your head in the one you want is it a bigger one you use h1 a medium one you use h2 h3 h4 if you want a small one you can use h5 or h6 but h3 is mainly for list if you want a list have a heading for a list of something h3 is what most use that's what for our normal two then let's go for our for our third class let's see what our third class we do our third class would teach us okay our third class would teach us textile let's do something let's remove this h1 h2 h3 there let's just remove it and put and what do our textile that's for our number three textile in what HTML and CSS go back to the beginning one Go back to the beginning. Let's do text styling. For the text styling, for the text styling, we have P. Then what? We want our hello world to be bold. Then what? We put bold. Then you have to close the bold and then close your P. For the second one, we have P. And we have, for example, like italic. Then. You have to close your italic, then what close your P. And for the third one, like you have your P, then what you have like small if you want it what to look small, then what close your small and close your close your P. And for the next one, you have like your P, then what you want it like in short script, you want a short script. The HTML to be what like subscript you just do here and write subscript then what your the HTML and CSS that close it here close it here and for the next one you have your P you have like hope you are you have our enjoying should be subscript like enjoying 
you know what you close it write this video then what you close it you close it and for the next you have your P close it you have, don't forget forget to then what if you want to mark something for example like mark I want to mark the subscribe that is don't forget to subscribe you just like it then what you just close your P then let's see how our third one textile looks as you can see forward our hello world will put it as bold the second one welcome to website designing you put it as what as Italy in Italy form then creating a web page we put it to be what to be like smaller then what using HTML and CSS we put it in what so script the HTML and CSS we only the one we only the one you what you subscribed to be what to be, to be below the what to use it we had a mistake here that's what let's yeah subscribe and for our hope you are enjoying the video we put it out subscribed we subscribed it up it what it is like above hope you are this video it is what above it and don't forget to subscribe you want we mark the subscribe if you want to mark something in HTML CSS you can do it you can use it then for our next is what for our next class we do what will be like text font in what HTML and CSS let's get doing it in the beginning we are introducing CSS here we was we must have style inside our head let's put it as style yeah let's close it we we'll close it then we have, we have p dot my font then what we got we are having hope to open this bracket and like if you wish close it go inside the middle of it like this just to, uh, to separate it then you have font family as you have these two signs go inside the middle you can write Verdana give it a comma write times give it a comma serif then not give it another comma and then you'll be having font style style give it like this then you can write bold or italic then what you close it then and for the next we'll be having font size this is what is CSS CSS work like this if I have font size we'll be putting our own as what 14 pixel px you know we close it and for the next we have font which width We are having font width as what as bold and we close it and for next here you cannot okay you can take it and what close your style close your style if you close it you see it has it has turned to what it has shown you that what this CSS P dot my font has changed into blue then what font family font style font size font weight has turned to red this is what this shows you that what the code is what the code is CSS then you come into the middle of your body and what you can use h1 and write website all right like for garu website designing 
Naru website designer. Yeah, you cannot close it. Go into the middle of it. Then for next, you see something different. Like I have P class. I will give it a equal to sign. This sign again. Right, my font. Yeah, this one. This will make your. Uh, this will give the command to what to use the style there. I have like my font. Then what? A web designer website designer that teaches you how to create we can use brick so that we will not take it long we can use a code br brick so that it is what okay I don't want the line to break let me just take it how to create a website using your Android phone let's close it then we have the closing of our body and the closing of HTML let's see how the CSS the text font HTML and CSS look like wow how do you see it got a website designer a website designer that teaches you how to create sorry I forgot something here how to create a website using your Android phone as you can see it here and for the next our next lesson will be what text color let's give this text a color this okay let's add a text and give it a color text color let's give it like this we'll be having p style you know what give it like this yeah if you write it like this you write text color text slash color give it the sign what color should we use can we use orange let's put orange give it this and when the add give it like this you know what write your text don't forget to subscribe subscribe for my channel then you can close it let's see okay we have an error there let's check what is the error p style uh -huh. text p style text color let's check okay i'm sorry i found my mistake i shouldn't put this text let's run it like this and see wow the text is now what our orange color as we put we can change it to any color of my our wishes like blue it will change to blue like if you want red you know someone want red someone want yellow you see it was now red and for our last lesson is what is putting a background color changing the background color as you can see it here we have white right let's what let's change it color let's give it a color like what light blue we can come it would changing a background color the code must come at the, at the top inside your body it must be the first you just put it like body style we use body style because it was it is a background color body style as you can see give it this sign you write background color slash color give it this sign let's put it as what light blue let's see then 
let's close it and let's see it has changed to light blue this is the only code you use in what in changing the background color you can change the background color like to yellow any color of your choice if you want yellow you just put yellow what it has changed to color wow this is the end of our today's lesson please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and if you want more information from me you can call my number 070-6649281 or you can send message to me through my gmail at muhammadgazali01.com let me write it here below for you so that what if you want to say something you can you just send it easily let me put it like code so that everyone will see my gmail and then put it in capital later you can see it this is my gmail address if you want to text me something see it here i just printed and this is my phone number if you want to call me have something for me or you want to like correct me where i made an error you can just call me this is the number 070 or 081 yeah see it here this is my gmail address and those are my numbers if you want to call me garu website designer a website designer that teach you how to create your website using your android phone once again i'm gazali ahmed garu font ed website designer Hope you enjoyed this video and you wait to see more videos from me. Thank you so much.